Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Look at me pretending like this is the first time I've said it. Today we have my Ipsy Plus bag. Let's get in here and see what I've got. Yeah, I totally just got through explaining the bag and unboxing the first two products and looked up at my camera wasn't on. I just never hit the on button. So I'm just sitting up here talking to myself in the walls all about this, but not you guys. Let's start over. This is the Ipsy Plus bag. It comes out monthly. It is $25. You get five full size products. It is always worth the money for me. They choose two products for you. Then you pick your other three products from within the categories that they give you. I also did add-ons this month, so I have some add-ons I was saying the first time around how very excited I was to see this bag because we got the plastic bag that had this design on it in our regular Ipsy bag, and I liked it so much. I was like, I can't wait to see it in the Plus version, and I love this. I like that this one comes. I know some people like it and some don't, but I fall into the I do category. I like that it looks like a Santa sack. I just think it is so stinking cute and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet but I will be finding something to do with this. So what I have already done <laughs> is separated what they chose for me, what I chose for me, and my add-ons into three different files and I discovered after I chose what they chose for me that like I said I didn't have my camera on so let's talk about those two products again really quickly. The first is the Foxy Bay 12-in-1 Magic Daily Leave-In Mask. And that's what it looks like. I love hair products. I just opened my Look Fantastic June edit and it was a hair edit. And I was saying when I unboxed that, that I wish there was a seasonal box that just every season introduced you to new hair products because I love trying new hair products. You couldn't have it monthly, I don't think, because I don't think monthly I could go through enough product, especially if they did full size, but I would absolutely love a box that was just hair products. And this is sulfate and paraben free. It has biotin. It is six fluid ounces. Oh, something else I told you the first time that I haven't told you yet. I didn't think to print out the paperwork on this, so I will read to you off the backs of the bottles and I will be letting you know right here the value of the product. This says it is the 12-in-1 Magic Daily Leave-In Hair Mask. The curse of bad hair days is finally over. Our Magic 12-in-1 Blend is formulated from the most nourishing, moisturizing, nutritious ingredients on the planet. Our 12 luxurious butters, oils, and proteins were crafted into this daily, all-purpose, no-rinse mask to be your magic potion against frizz, split ends, and dull hair. Stop waiting on the fairy godmother and go from tragic to magic with this little Foxy Bay wizardry. And I smelled it. It is just a nice white cream. It smells very nice, just like a hair product. I don't know how better to describe it than to say it, it really just smells like a nice clean hair product scent. It's not overly floral or fruity. It's just a nice clean lotion-y scent. And it has Manoy oil, shea butter, Orisa sativa protein, argan oil, baobab extract, macadamia oil, coconut oil, amla oil, tsubaki oil, pitanga oil, biotin, and kukua oil. So there's a lot of stuff in here that's good for your hair and I will use it from my mid shaft down. I can't add this up here because I know you're thinking really it'll make it flatter? Yeah, it will. I know it's hard to believe that this could be even flatter but alas, it can. So I will absolutely love trying this because I will, I always add moisture down here because this has been hanging out down here so long that although it's technically not damaged, it's just, just kind of sad. I need a really good haircut. Okay. And then next, and I promise you, they picked this for me. You're not going to believe it when you see it, Brushes. but they did. I would have, if this had been in one of my selections, I would have picked it, but they had already picked it for me. And there is a powder brush and then what's probably a blush brush, and then three eye brushes, which I really like. These two are both almost like blender brushes, which are my absolute favorite brushes. And they're the SL Miss Glams, and they're always so cute. See how it's pink down to orange? And then it has a couple of the rhinestone-y type things in it, and then the handle is lucite, and there's always like some kind of glitter in there. This one is kind of pinky and orange, 
to match the brush, I imagine. And I was saying, and you guys let me know below, I've been thinking about making them not only unboxings, but try-ons. So if that's anything you have any interest, be sure and let me know below. It won't hurt my feelings. If you're like, nope, just show me your products and move on with your life. I don't need to see you put makeup on. Say that. It will absolutely not hurt my feelings. I get it. I am not a makeup artist. I mean, heck, today for a little bit of whatever, I put on blue eyeshadow. As a child of the basically 70s, I am even appalled at how much blue is on my eyes. But I thought that if I was going to do that, these brushes would be great to have up here to do that with. Okay, next, and into new and uncharted territory and things I haven't said before, are the three products that I picked. First is a repeat for me, but I chose it because I love it. It is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I used it today when I did my makeup. I love this. I also have the watermelon one, and I want to like the watermelon one as much as I love this, but I don't. I like this one the best. It's got such a, or at least mine does, let's take the lid off this and see. It's got such a fine mist. It smells like coconut. I love it, but it is for dewy skin and it is summer. So if you tend to be oily, I'm not sure if this would be perfect for you. Can you guys tell, I hope you can tell, how fine that mist is. Oh, now it just smells, everything up here. Oh, it smells like coconut. I love it, I just love it. The box says it has fresh coconut extract, softening niacinamide, it has a dewy finish, it's delicately coconut scented, it is cruelty free and vegan. I mean, what more could you ask for? Mist and set with Ciate London's Everyday Vacay Setting Mist, infused with coconut extract and skin softening niacinamide. This is the perfect finish for dewy, fresh skin. You know what? I want to do it again. I did it downstairs before I came up, but... Oh, it feels so good. Oh, it smells like coconut. I love this. If you have the opportunity to try this and you can use a dewy skin product, I 100% would recommend it. Next, and I'm just gonna say going in, you guys know me, so you know where my heart lies. My next two products were both my choices and they're both eyeshadow balance. The first one is from Fluid. We are Fluid and it says Otherworldly Eight Shadow Palette. And that is what it looks like. And it says, take your look to an interstellar level with Otherworldly's combination of mattes, shimmers, foil, and glitter in versatile shades and bold colors. And this is made in China. Let me open it up. Well, that's kind of cute. It says, express your otherworldly self. And it has a small, let me see if I can show you it all. It has a small mirror up top. Oh, and then the bottom is very pretty. It's kind of just neutrals, but with a couple pops of color. Let's go ahead and swatch these and see what they look like. We have Stalactic, Astral, Quarkle, well that's definitely a glitter, and Andromedaes. Ooh, that one was really creamy. And that is what they look like. They are nice and creamy going on. That is what they look like. See the one that's a glitter? One thing about it is I generally don't use glitter, so that's not something I will use, but and so I don't, so I can't speak to whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, but it feels like a good thing. What is on there, it took it all off my finger. You know how sometimes you try a glitter and you put it on and while you do get a lot, you still have a lot on your finger? My finger basically doesn't have anything on it. I mean, it has a little bit of the base color like the others, but the glitter is all gone and stuck over here now. And that feels like it would be a good thing. So that's the top row. And then the bottom row we have Galatia, Mercurial, Queersar, and Blood Moon. And that is what those look like. I love that green. You guys know I love a green. Oh, wow. That is such, I hope that's coming across. I don't know why it doesn't look bright enough. That is such a pretty green. This is a really, really warm palette. I will probably set it aside for fall. Of course, I wore this incredibly pink shirt today, so it kind of shows off how warm the palette is but that is really pretty. So that is the We Are Fluid Otherworldly palette, which was my choice. And my last choice, completing the bag, I chose Busy Art. You know, Busy Art is one of those products that doesn't get enough love. You know, we talk, we all, oh, Pat McGrath, and oh, Natasha Denona, and oh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And Busy Art's down here kind of flying under the radar, doing their thing, and they are 
fantastic. I have several of these small palettes of theirs. I also have bigger ones, but I have several of these smaller palettes and I love them. They have such great pigmentation. I feel like they don't have much fallout. They're always nice and creamy. I love these palettes. When you take it out, that is what it looks like on the inside. And then they all open like this. And it has a little mirror. I cover that up. And then those are the colors. And it's just so pretty. And this is the Petit Pro Du. And I just, I, oh wow, this is even prettier in person than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, that is so nice and cool. We're swatching this one too. And this is so easy if you're traveling. This is so easy to take along. And let me show you how nice these are. The top row are your mattes and the bottom row are your shimmers. And we don't have the names on here. So I will just name them Catherine because you guys know I love just a base color that's about the color of me <laughs> to do so that it makes everything else blend. Then we have a slight coral, a nice chocolate brown, and a grape. And that's what they look like. Let, let me swatch. Can you even see? I just put the one on here. I hope you can see that a little bit. So this is the top row of matte. So it's the one that's my skin tone, kind of, let's call it, you know, like latte. No, that's probably creamer. <laughs> it's the creamer in the latte. And then this is kind of a light mauvey coral, a chocolate brown, and grape is probably not the right word, but that gets you to the darker purple. I love the Viseart. I just always am really happy with the Viseart formula. And I like their color stories. While they're not always, you know, they don't put a crazy pop of color in them. They're just always so wearable. I think probably I have maybe five of these this size, and I think I could grab any one of them and chuck it in a to-go bag and be gone for a weekend and be happy. They are all good enough that you have nice base colors and transition colors and shimmers. I just, I just like them. Plus, when you get them, the plastic that was covering this is not just a sheet of plastic, it's like a little cup. So I don't usually keep the plastic that comes in palettes, but these I do keep because I might travel with it and it always fits. See how it just, it fits so nicely over top as an extra protection. All right, next we have shiny pink, shiny maroon, shiny cocoa. <laughs> I'm really good at naming things. And ooh, pretty. Those are all beautiful. Oh, my hand's not completely dry yet. So how you guys been doing? Are you having a fantastic summer? It is, it's warm out, but today it's not like ah, too hot. So it's just a great day to be out. I thought we'd go with a little cold shoulder just to keep cool. I know I wore this pink and I have since, I'm making several videos today. I held up my Margot Elena, which is a very pink box and it didn't, it clashed with this. My Ipsy bag clashed with this. I never realized how many pink things I do that if I wear pink, it becomes problematic. Nattering on. Oh, these are gorgeous. These are just, oh my gosh. The one that I called shiny maroon is incredible. Yeah, these shimmers are beautiful. I hope that that even does them a little bit of the justice that they deserve. These are so pretty. Yeah, I always choose, Viseart for me is like Natasha Denona. If it's one of my choices and it's one I don't have, actually, even if it was one I did have, I would probably pick it for gifting or for giveawaying. But this is the Petite Pro De, and that's what it looks like. Love it. So that is my bag. So I have the two things that they chose, which was the leave-in hair mask, really happy about, and brushes. You know, you never make Catherine sad with brushes. I chose the Everyday Vacay Ciate London Coconut, and I will always choose this. I have almost finished the one I've got. I, it, I love it. Next to the Anastasia Dewey, it's my favorite setting spray. And then I chose the two palettes, the Fluid Otherworldly and the Viseart Petite Pro Deux. So that was my $25 bag. I will let you know here what it's worth. I'm gonna guess $155. Let's see how close I am. I'll do the math when I'm editing and I tell you the prices of these products since I don't have paperwork, but I'm thinking more than $150. So you can't go wrong for $25 because I will use every single one of these products, and that's how you win. It's not that it's worth $150 and it only costs 25. If it's things you don't want, 
I will use every one of these products. So this one definitely gets two thumbs up from me. I did a few add-ons. When I was doing my add-ons, I saw this Farrah brush and I love the Farrah brushes. I have one that I use for my all over color every day on my eyelids. Like I said, before I start, I always use like one of these colors just to give me a base so that when I blend my transition and my corners, I just find that because I'm not in any way and I need all the help I can get, I find that it helps it all blend better. I love the fair brushes. I'm looking at my blue eyeshadow and I'm so completely distracted because I'm like, blue? Why did you do blue? Anyway, this is bigger than I thought. I don't know what I thought it was going to be, but this was one of my add-ons and I thought it was a bit, it's way, I mean, look how tiny my eyes. So that's clearly not what it was meant for. Let me see on here if it says what it is. If not, I will look it up and see if I can, oh, here, no, it says conceal and set. Okay, so I guess, I guess I'm using concealer with this end and then this end I'm gonna use powder with. So I'm gonna conceal and then, I mean, for sure. I'm absolutely gonna try that. I have been using brushes more for a little more coverage, so I might love it. And then I just got three other small add-ons because I saw these, and one of my granddaughters is getting ready to turn 14, and these are the Minions by Tony Moly blemish patches, and they're little hearts. See, I can't open it because they start going bad from when you open them, but see they're little hearts. So if you get a little pimple, you can put it on it and it's a little heart. I mean, you probably wouldn't leave the house, although I don't know what a 13 year old would do, but you probably wouldn't leave the house with that on. But I thought it was so cute. I had to pick them up for her. And it's Tony Moly and that, you know, the K-Beauty is fantastic. I trust it for her. So I got that for her, but I was like, I always pick up things for her now because she's a teenager. So it's so much easier to do that with my bags. And then I saw these and she has a 10 year old sister, a four year old sister and a two year old sister. Well, obviously there's not gonna be much I can do for the two year old, but this was the Incredible Rollerball Gloss. And I thought that the 10 year old might like this. So it's just a nice little rollerball that has gloss in it. You know, like we used to wear the Bonnie Bell or what was it, Lip Smackers, was it Lips? Yeah, it was Lip Smackers, right? And then I found, thinking how can I get all three of them involved, I found this Deco in Miami nail art stickers. And look how cute these are. They're like whales and there's lobsters and seahorses and penguins. And then there's just stars and clouds and happy faces and rainbows, yin yang. There's just good stuff on here. So I thought this would be great for the three of them to play with because I know during the summer, my daughter will let them paint their nails and put little stickers on and that kind of thing. So those were the three add-ons I picked up, the little Tony Moly cute patches and the little glossy and these really cute. Like, so if you guys see these, I think these were $3 maybe. So cute. I mean, you could do, I would do those on my nails for the summer betcha. They've got metals in them. I mean, they're really, they look really quality for little stickers. That's what I got in my bag. And then those are my four little add-ons, the brush, and then these three little doodads. Those are my add-ons. So, I mean, you can't do that. Then we got this nice bag, which I was so happy with this bag. I just, I don't know what I want to put in it. I don't, I don't even know what I'm going to put in it, but I'm putting something good in it and I'm probably putting it in my purse. All right. Let me know below. Have you guys received your plus? I just got this. I got this in my Boxy Lux. I'm getting ready to open my Boxy Lux and I have things that I bought in the pop-up slash add-on shop with that too. But let me know below. Have you received your plus? Did you like it? I, I think this was a fantastic plus month for me. I love both of the products that they picked for me and then I love that they allowed me to pick makeup for myself. Sometimes they're skincare heavy, but this month I got two shadow palettes and this nice Ciate London setting spray. Thanks so much for coming by, guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here. I hope you are having a beautiful, fantastic day. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. I'll see you really soon and take care, guys.